What's up guys? You already know, today I'm going to show you some basic drills and challenges for anyone who wants to get started playing Marth. Now real quick, there's a phone app called Smash Amino, where Smash fans can share content and discuss Smash things with other people online. It's pretty cool and easy to use, and has a lot of activity, so stuff pops up all the time. You can gain followers and reputation as well. Not only that, but it's 100% free for both iPhone and Android. Make sure you guys add us as soon as you get in. Once you do, you can vote and influence our next video through our poll. But enough of that, let's get back to practicing Marth. First off, Marth has incredible movement, and you'll have to master all of it to become proficient with them. Practice full length dash dances, then short range dash dances, going from one side of the stage to the other and everything in between. The more accurately you can control your dash dancing, the more powerful you'll be in a match. Fox trots, full length and short length wave dashes, shield stops, and wave lands are all gonna help you get to exactly the right spacing you need to be in any situation. Try using these to get to specific parts of the stage, such as from one platform to another, or in perfect position to up air underneath the platform. As a more advanced movement option, you can practice empty pivoting at various lengths as well. We'll have more on this later, but basically you flick the stick back like you're gonna dash dance, but let go immediately. Secondly, you'll have to learn how to link multiple moves together at the soonest possible time. Practice dashing backwards out of your most common approach options, as it's usually the safest option you have. Short hop forward air, auto cancel neutral air, and running down tilt are probably going to be your most common options. Then practice doing other attacks out of them. Again, I know I sound like a broken record from the past practice videos, but make sure you're using the 20XX green standstill option and make sure there's no green whatsoever, as this is the only way to know if you're doing the moves fast enough. For the down tilt, 20XX won't show you the soon as you can cancel the animation, so to see it, you'll have to hold backwards and shield as you do a down tilt. The moment you see Marth shield is the same moment you could do any other move, like dash backwards, forward air, grab, or another down tilt. Third, practice your aerial movement, such as advancing and retreating forward airs, short hop double fares in both directions, and just moving backwards and forwards with a lot of aerials in general. Practice jumping forwards and backwards, picking a point on the stage that you want to land on from various places. Practice doing instant aerials and late or falling aerials. Fourth, Marth's edge guarding is one of the most crucial aspects of this game, because he doesn't have guaranteed kill setups like a lot of the rest of the cast. Because of this, you'll have to be more than comfortable on the ledge. Lastly, here are some extracurricular things you can practice. And for every trial, make up some challenges for yourself. Wave dash across the entire stage without messing up. 
ledge hop all aerials and L cancel them, auto cancel neutral air to dash backwards five times in a row, etc. So that you really get used to doing them. Thanks for watching guys. Again, I read every single comment that has ever been posted on this channel. So please let me know what you think, what you're practicing, what characters you like, or what other videos you want. And I'll see you in the next video. Or maybe you'll see Connor. I don't know, man.